Hello again, um, I'm James Champion. Um, this is uh, part eight of my uh, journey in the footsteps of my grandfather, F.W. Champion, the forest officer and tiger protector in the 1920s and 30s and 40s in India. Now, um, by this stage of my journey, I was really getting rather desperate to see a tiger because I thought I could not uh, visit India in the footsteps of my grandfather and not see a tiger. Now, I was kindly invited uh, um, by the director of the Corbett National Park to uh, spend some days in the park. And uh, of course, I was very keen to see a tiger at this stage. However, only birds at first. This is a long tailed trike which as a bird watcher, of course, uh, it was very enjoyable to see these birds anyway, but uh, I was mainly looking for tigers. Here we can see, uh, looking down uh, on Champion's Pool again, the part of the Ramganga River that my uh, grandfather and my grandmother had uh, enjoyed fishing in so much. Here we can see uh, a nice herd of uh, cheetle, the, uh, tiger, uh, one of the favorite prey items of the tiger. So uh, I knew that there was at least a chance that uh, there might be a possibility of seeing a tiger. Here we can see Champion Road. This is a road that leads down to uh, Champion's Pool. And uh, it was nice for me to see uh, my grandparents uh, commemorated in that way. Now, of course, normally in the uh, National Park, you're not uh, allowed to leave your vehicle. And uh, um, I uh, asked permission specially to be able to stand next to uh, the Champion Road sign to have my photograph taken, but uh, the people I was with were teasing me about the fact that there might be a tiger lurking in the bushes behind me. Um, here you can see uh, Forest Rest House in the middle of the National Park at Dikala, and you can actually see my grandfather's elephant, Balmati, coming out from behind the, uh, the house. I was very pleased to see that this particular rest house uh, is still in existence today, and it's now used as the VIP uh, rest house of the, uh, of the park. Um, here you can see me with the uh, deputy director of the uh, Corbett Tiger Reserve. He'd only just recently been appointed and uh, he very kindly looked after me uh, um, and we uh, looked for tigers uh, intensively together. Um, here you can see a photograph on, of, uh, of a shadow of an elephant with me on the top of it getting more and more desperate to, uh, to see a tiger. Um, no luck uh, at that uh, particular point. And here you can see the other elephant. We went uh, as, uh, as a pair and uh, we went through the, uh, through the grass looking uh, for tigers, but, uh, but no luck until finally one particular tiger showed itself. And we had a, a good look at this, but as you can see, it was at, uh, at, at some, some distance range. But the following day, we had the most magnificent tiger that uh, uh, sat very uh, cooperatively and allowed itself to be photographed. Of course, I was thinking, I wonder whether my grandfather photographed this tiger's great, great, great grandmother or grandfather. Um, the tiger sat there for quite a long time and then walked towards us. And then finally it uh, jumped off to the, to the right into the grass. And uh, finally, uh, by the time I'd spent uh, five days in the park, I'd actually managed to see four tigers. So that was uh, a very wonderful experience. That's the end of uh, part uh, seven, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in part eight, which will be the final part, and uh, thank you.